Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy, Sell, Plan. In today's video, I'm gonna unbox my September cloth and paper subscription box. So it, uh, they all come with this little thank you card. Well, I guess it's not a thank you card, but it lets you know what's inside. Okay, so it gives you like a picture of everything on that side and then on this side, just a description. So let's dive in and see. Let's look at the little, the little stuff here journaling cards so we have our clear card for November and it looks like it has a coating on it that can be peeled off so that it is clear and shiny very pretty okay this one says take a break you deserve it okay I think there's a theme they've, they've started to do themes so we have the 30 day journal mood tracker, um, half sticky note set journaling card. So yeah, I think it, um, I think it has to do with that. Um, I don't know, relaxation and things like that. So this is kind of cool. It's like, um, vellum, like a vellum journaling card. I don't know if I've seen a vellum journaling card before. So it says I can be and still, so I can be Strong, independent, grieving, direct, a leader, understanding, creative, a listener, and still. Be soft, need support, find joy, be kind, need guidance, have boundaries, need inspiration, and have a voice. Oh, that's lovely. I love that. That is beautiful. Okay, and then we have our paper card for November. And then this here, Leonardo da Vinci quote perhaps wisdom is the daughter of experience and then it just repeats it and it looks like it says it probably in Italian and it's nice and soft so that's neat okay so we have a reflection journaling prompt this is kind of neat all right let's open it up so it feels like a good quality card stock Oh, is there two? Oh, monthly, daily, and weekly. Oh, isn't that neat? So monthly, so there looks like there's five on each. How do you feel about this past month? Reflect on the highs and lows and how you grew from them. Number two, list a few notable events that happened this month and your reactions to them. Are you satisfied with how you reacted? List some things you've learned this month. How can these be applied to your life? What do you want to learn next month? This is really cool. This could be part of, you know, because you guys know I do my monthly tracking and I do my weekly, like I do a recap and then I plan for the next week, next month. So this could be something that's incorporated into that. I like it. And they're different. So the weekly ones are different than the monthly and the daily ones are different as well. What a neat idea. This is what they look like a little closer. So I'll just punch these and I, I don't know, maybe put them in my planner, but I don't, I don't know that I would journal about these in my planner. So I don't know, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with these, but I really like it. So now we get into the dashboards and I have to be honest, I'm not into these ones. They're beautiful and they're very magazine like, but they're just, I don't know, they're not me and they don't suit the my aesthetic i'm into the the pinks and the pretty stuff i suppose this could be good when i'm in a black binder i think that that could be good i like that this is double-sided because they're not always double-sided oh it looks like they both are so that's neat so it's just a card stock belief precedes success jonas c-a-i-n-o ciano i've never heard of that person but it must be a quote from them Believe in yourself. You are better than you think, more talented than you know, and capable of more than you imagine. Roy T. Bennett. Cool. And sometimes when we get these, they're, they're a repeat. Like it's just one sentence repeated, but I don't think this is one sentence. The more you believe in yourself, the more you could trust yourself. The more you trust yourself, the less you compare yourself to others. Yeah, it looks like it's... Oh, cool. It's like... um. They don't repeat, so that's neat. And it looks like they're different quotes from different people. You can see the names in italic. Isn't that cool? That's that's nice. That's really nice. 
Okay, this one here is called Purpose. I'm like, I'm digging this theme. We won't be distracted by comparison if we are captivated with purpose. Well, that's that's pretty true, isn't it? Bob Goff. And this is this is a sentence that's repeated. We won't be distracted by comparison if we are captivated with purpose. And it just repeats it over and over. Okay, those are cool. I mean, I hang on to these even though I don't really use them yet, but I, I think in a black binder, these could be really beautiful if you just want like a black and white aesthetic. Okay, these are, let's see what these are. Mental wellness inserts, they're called. Okay, let's open them up. Oh yeah, it says right on the back, mental wellness. <laughs> oh, there's a lot in here. That's cool. Okay, I think the same on the back. Yep. So basically, so this is cool. So you can put what your focus is, put the date here if you want, positive affirmation, mindful intentions, and just free thoughts. Neat. These, these are really cool. Like this is a really cool idea. And I love that they're grid. Love that. And then we have the November, which you guys, I don't use these. It's, I mean, it's nice for those people who are uh, diehard cloth and paper um, users, like for the inserts. And I love these. I just, I wish they were undated. I get why they're doing it because this is what they're releasing for 2022. So I guess they're giving, they give us the last six months of the year uh, in our subscription boxes. Um, and then I guess in hopes that you enjoy them and that you just purchase them for the next year. But uh, this layout, I don't use this layout. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I like them. I love the layout. I do have some that are undated from a uh, previous pres um, prescription subscription box that I've used for social media planning, which I like because they're undated and I can use them as I need. Um, and I suppose I could with these two and just, you know, white out the date but it has the calendar there, so I don't know. So then they just sit in my drawer because who knows, maybe I will use them in the future. If you use these, let me know how you use them. I would love to know, get some ideas from you. Okay, that's those. And then these, I saw the only thing out of this subscription box that I've seen online are these. I've been too busy actually to watch YouTube and look for the unboxings. But I did see somebody on Instagram posted this and I thought that was pretty cool. So they're half sticky notes, they're mood trackers. So for this one here, it says today's mood. So you just put that, oh, you check it off. Happy, calm, okay, tired, sad, and angry. You put a date there and then notes. And then there's a mood tracker. So Sunday to sun, Saturday, Sunday to Saturday, put your, put the week in there. That's pretty neat. And they're sticky notes, so you just, Put it in your planner and neat idea. Not sure how I'm going to incorporate these because I do track my mood in my wellness planner with my um, cycle tracker. So we'll see. Maybe I could change it instead of mood tracker. I can change it to something else. I like it. And then we have this little booklet. And this is the 30 day journal. Okay, this is neat. I'm intrigued. Let's see. A practice of maintaining a non judgmental state of heightened or complete awareness of one's thoughts, emotions, or experiences on a moment to moment, moment to moment basis. That must be the definition for mindful. That's really cool. This 30 day journal belongs to Record your day with ease using this 30-day journal. Start your day by setting positive intent, positive expectations. End it with thoughtful reflection. This 30-day reflections journal will provide a space to set expectations and reflect on your day. At the beginning, set goals and expectations for the next 30 days. And at the end, you can reflect on how you've progressed and grown. That's pretty cool. Monthly expectations and reflections, morning expectations, 
evening reflection. So it just gives you little prompts on how to use them. So monthly expectations. So in the next 30 days, I will. My word of the month is because things I'm looking forward to, things I want to learn. How can I make the most out of this book? What can I do to achieve my goals? Okay. All right. So then that's the start of your journal. And then this is where you go into the morning. So on the front, I was wondering why there's a spot for a date. So that would be the month that you're using this for. And then here you go each day. So you've got your morning on the top and your evening down below. So morning, this morning I am feeling my word of the day is I'm today I'm grateful for and things that will help me accomplish my goals. In the evening, this evening I'm feeling today I accomplish what can I improve on to make tomorrow better. And there you go, you have enough for the whole month. And then there's a notes page at the back. Very neat idea. Very neat idea. I kind of like it. And I like that it's like a cardstock material. Sorry about the lighting. I have a new phone. Uh, I got the 12 Mac, uh, 12 Max Pro, I think it's called. It's the big one. Um, as you may or may not know, I don't have the best eyesight, so I need big font. So not only do I need a big font, I need a bigger phone. So the camera is super awesome. I'm still learning it, but I'm finding in some videos, things aren't looking as good as I want. Like when I'm looking, I feel like I look like I know I, I'm tanned from the summer, but I'm not this tanned. So anyways, hopefully this doesn't look too dark. Uh, and you enjoyed this video. So this was the September cloth and paper subscription box. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't like when I get my subscription boxes, I don't necessarily use everything, but then there are certain things that I, that I absolutely love and use a lot of. So that's why I keep it going. If you have any questions at all, let me know. And again, if you're a Franklin Planner Classic user, the only way to get cloth and paper items unpunched is through the subscription box, which is another big reason why I continue so that you can get these types of inserts and punch them yourself for your planner. So, and your dashboards. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.